Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Basic Builder back in Valheim, bringing you another building video. In today's video, we'll be starting the Castle Keep. This is going to be a multi-part series within this series of building this keep. As you can tell, this castle is absolutely massive. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, and welcome back to Oakart Castle. So to start out this build, I first wanted to go ahead and get a general layout of this castle keep. I knew I wanted to have a basement, um, so first thing I did off screen was just to go ahead and dig it down and get a general square and size of the Great Hall. From there I knew that I wanted to go ahead, put a tower in to kind of fill in the spaces so I knew exactly how much room I would have between the walls and the main structure of the build. So now that I had a general idea of the the basement area of of the great hall i noticed that a little bit of water was coming in so the reason for digging it down so low was to see the actual water table and then i can make a decision on exactly how uh, high i could build the floor up with still keeping in mind the um, the headroom in the basement So now that I had the outer wall on the left hand side of the gatehouse and the tower established, it was time to go ahead and start laying out the front entrance of the gate hall. So at this point, I knew that I wanted like a side alleyway and kind of have it squared off to the front of the castle keep or great hall, however you want to call it. Um, so that's exactly what I'm doing here is going ahead and putting that in. That way I also have the edges of the great hall and the main structure of the castle compared to the outer wall on the right hand side.
this outer wall section was quite challenging. Um, I had to make quite a few different changes to the initial layout that you saw in part one of this castle build series, um, just to accommodate the actual layout, the finished layout, I guess I could say, of this, uh, as well as tying in this uh, walkway along the outer edge back into the main structure. So at this point, um, I wanted to go ahead and establish the area at which I would be building the large tower that you may possibly see in the thumbnail or in future thumbnails coming forward. This part of the build, because it was so large, I actually did not record any of it due to the fact that I just really wanted to focus on making sure that I got it exactly right. One of the things you'll see is that I will be using a lot of iron uh, within the flooring just to uh, keep the structure stable. Uh, you'll also notice that this build does go extremely high with the, the stone. Um, and I will post another video on the technique that I actually use. No, it's not modded. Um, it does have structural integrity. Um, but I'll go into further detail, but essentially what I used was the spawn rock underscore destructible underscore test. Um, and that will actually allow you to spawn in um, a rock, essentially, and then you can chisel it down using the pickaxe. Um, and then I use the infinity hammer mod as well. Uh, in this particular build as well as the better creative those are the mods that I'm actually using um, so yes this is a little bit of a modded build but it's for specific reasons however um, using the infinity hammer mod once I was able to break down the rock then I was able to place them inside the walls so like I said I will put another video out specifically for that so you can kind of get a general idea and then you can use it in your own builds. So now that we got the walkway established in the little patio area, the, basically the main structure for the tall tower, it was time to just go ahead and start adding in some walls down in the basement to kind of close this off, as well as start adding the walls into the castle keep itself. So now that we got the walls brought up into the basement, it was time to go ahead and continue adding on to the castle keep with the layout. Uh, made quite a few modifications here and um, to not only the outer wall here, as I was trying to go ahead and put a 
a layout for a tower and then I realized I noticed my mistake and you'll see that um, but I wanted to go ahead and get this part established as well so we're working ourselves our, our way around the castle from the left to the right hand side So at this point, I wanted to go ahead and get some windows established, uh, keeping them kind of in the center of the Great Hall. Um, and you'll see that when we get to some cinematics later in the series. I'm not going to go post any cinematics yet uh, because I do want to get the interior completed uh, just to bring that dramatic effect. And I'm trying to work on some few techniques with the interior decorating to kind of bring in that medieval vibe so you'll see uh, a few changes here and there um, to the castle itself as we go through the process of the build uh, you'll see some changes here and there as you can tell right now <laughs> So this is again going to be a mini series within this castle build series of uh, the Great Hall itself, as well as the uh, additional side areas of the castle. Um, again, I don't want to rush this build uh, process uh, as the build is actually not even fully completed. So, um, but I, I, I want to show every bit. Uh, even if it's in a time lapse, I want to show every bit of this process just so y'all get an understanding of the scale of this particular build. So, um, yeah, so I do, again, hope y'all are enjoying the series so far. Remember to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, and then part four should be out later this week.